Tom Hanks' achievements in American film are very many, but perhaps his greatest contribution so far is that he instills a great hope in us all for a world where ordinary people have a voice, for a time when we are all grateful for the gifts of those who have come before us, and for the great freedoms we enjoy as a result. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present the 2002 AFI Life Achievement Award to America's favorite son, Tom Hanks. Thank you. Um, there's a, a place on the moon. We've all heard of the Sea of Tranquility, maybe the Ocean of Storms, the Frau Mora Highlands. There's an area of the moon called the Lake of Dreams. <clears throat> to have you all here tonight, to be placed up with the names of the other honorees, turns out, I've walked on the moon. I explored the lake of dreams. It's a good place because they all come true. You folks are just so swell. <laughs> You're all so nice, you know. Hey, I got an idea. Let's go to the movies. I want to go to the movies. I want to take you all to the movies. Let's, let's go and experience the, the art of the cinema. Let's, uh, let's begin with a Scream of Fear. And we're going to have it haunt us for the rest of our lives. And then uh, let's go see The Great Escape and spend our summer jumping our bikes just like Steve McQueen over barbed wire. And then let's catch The Seven Samurai for some reason on PBS. And, uh, and we'll feel like we speak Japanese because we can read the subtitles and hear the language at the same time. <laughs> and then um, let's lose sleep the night before we see 2001 A Space Odyssey because we have this idea that's going to change forever the way we look at films. And then let's go see it four times in one year. And let's see Woodstock three times in one year. And let's see Dr Taxi Driver twice in one week. And let's see Close Encounters of the Third Kind just so we can freeze there in mid-popcorn. <laughs> yeah. And when the kids are old enough, let's sit them together on the sofa and screen City Lights and Stagecoach and the best years of our lives and On the Waterfront and Midnight Cowboy and Five Easy Pieces and The Last Picture Show and Raging Bull and Schindler's List so that they can understand how the human condition can be captured by this amalgam of light and sound and literature we call the cinema. What a great job. If you're fortunate, you're a part of cultural events more immediate, more lasting, and even more enlightening than most anything else that man has ever created. You get to make movies. The truth is, I have been blessed beyond the definition of good fortune for a long, long while, for most of my life. I've made friends like you all. I've become a better artist by collaborating with each one of you. And if we haven't worked together, I've seen your stuff, and I've stolen from you. <laughs> Ripped you off. And I've been rewarded for my larceny with longevity. 
afterward. See, when you work in the movies, part of you gets to live forever. The idea that you can single out one's life achievement in work, of course, cannot be considered a substitute for one's achievements in life. And there, already, my friends, I have been blessed beyond deserving. Since 1988, I have been happy in the warm embrace of a big, fat Greek family <laughs> who are here tonight. I have friends here from Oakland and Sacramento, Cleveland, Manhattan. I get to share this moment with my mom right here in the room. With my sister, Sandra, and my two brothers, Jim and Larry, with whom I share a secret language. I have four kids, Colin, Elizabeth, Chester, and Truman, each one of them more accomplished and centered at their ages than their father ever was. <laughs> each more... As you can see, each one is more entertaining and inspiring than any of their father's jobs. <laughs> but each one is a very special example of how gloriously good people can be. And I'm here because of my wife, Rita Wilson. As you've seen again and again just in tonight, she is the motivation of my best work. I wish everyone could share their life with as good a friend, as passionate a lover, as close a partner, and as beautiful a woman as I have been able to with the mate of my soul, Rita Wilson. In order to uh, cap off this once-in-a-lifetime beer bust you've thrown for me, I had to choose between two distinctive quotes from a lesser example of the art of cinema, but a movie nonetheless. Two quotes from the film That Thing You Do, somewhere in, I don't know, the third or the fourth, I don't know where it was, somewhere in there. One quote is, Skitch, how did I get here? <laughs> and the other quote is, Table 19, your pizza is ready. <laughs> I have great reason to say, God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you. And good night.